I grew up in a part of the city called Broadway East. Some people would label it the worst side of the city. When I think about the environment that I grew up in and those that actually looked out for me, the Miss Lucy's that is 90 years old now, still living in the neighborhood, and how they made sure that I could travel the streets safely, that when I was out of line in the neighborhood, they would not only deal with me, they would go and tell my mother and grandmother and, and grandfather. They are now still stuck in those neighborhoods. Miss Lucy's on a fixed income. Miss Lucy has nowhere to go. Who am I to come from this neighborhood that was safe for me and then go and live in my creature comforts in Northern Virginia as I worked for Mobile Oil? You know, in 1993, my grandpa passed, and that was my call back home. Because before he passed, I came to Johns Hopkins and I told him that he didn't have to worry about granny. I told him I got granny. So I left my creature comforts of Mobile Oil jet setting across the country to come back to my neighborhood that I saw changing. This was the neighborhood that raised me, that made sure that I could in fact be a college student. You know, people pulled together during that time, but it was trending in the wrong direction. So I feel like I owe a debt not only to the neighborhood, but to the people of the city. In order for this city to change, we have to have leaders that are not thinking about themselves, not thinking about their creature comforts. We have to have leaders that have the leaders that, that weren't just born to live reality. You have to expand your role and change reality because it's not about our comforts. It's about the least of these, those that the educational system has failed. Those that are just trying to figure their way out of these neighborhoods that we have over 16,000 vacant buildings uh, across this city. They don't want to be there. They want stuff too. They want creature comforts. But if we ignore them and continue to focus on the things that make us comfortable, then I ask the question, are we really leading?